Jelly Babes, welcome back to my channel. So today I have got another PR package from Madame Glam. I absolutely love that Stay Glamorous sticker. <laughs> um, so this is what I received. So I've got a normal uh, no wipe top coat and a matte top coat as well. And then I've got four um, of the metallic gel polishes. <laughs> Sorry if you can hear my dog snoring in the background. So obviously with Madame Glam you do have the colour pop on top of the bottle but actually with these ones it's the only time I've looked at it and it's not quite the same look that you get um, with how it looks when it's all done if that makes sense. So this one is Trip to Florida and it is a gorgeous sort of like cool lilac shade. But obviously on the top of the lid it looks quite blue which it doesn't really in real life next one is life on mars and again it doesn't look as red as the color pop indicates but it's still a cool um color and obviously this is peppermint so you've got a gorgeous green metallic look with this one and then the last one is play date which again is like a sort of like coppery sort of nudey look so somebody actually wanted me to review these for them. I think they wanted to purchase them beforehand. So I am so sorry I've completely forgotten your name. But hopefully you're watching this and this video is for you. <laughs> if you can comment, if it's you in the comments box below, that'd be great. So yeah, so basically you, it does said state on their website that you don't want to skip this step because it does help with... Um, giving the sort of nail a really smooth application process and then obviously it gives something that the metallic polish can stick to even though it's a no wipe top coat it will still do that there is still for a form of tacky layer with the no wipe top coat so first up is this a trip to florida and it applies so lovely i wish all polishes applied like this it kind of just like glides on so you do want to make sure it's nice, thin, even coats also. So that's how it looks. Now with this one, um, you do have to cure it for quite a long time actually. It's about three minutes underneath your lamp. So this is it after it's cured. So there is kind of like a bit of a halo effect at the top. I'm not really sure why that's happened. Metallic polishes can be a little bit of a pain in the bum to deal with. And I really don't know what happened here. When I went to apply the top coat, it kind of all just cracked and went a little bit weird. Which was very frustrating. So basically, I just got some isopropyl alcohol and lint-free wipe and just wiped that off. So I'm just going to apply this layer again. And hopefully it will cure properly. I do find I've used these in the past and like I say like you can apply them nicely and then something <laughs> happens when you put it underneath the lamp. It affects how it looks kind of thing. So this is it after it has been cured. So I'm just making sure that it is completely dry. Oops, got the wrong thing. So I'm just going to try again with the top coat and hopefully I'll be more successful. There you go. Ooh, it seems to be, uh, that's okay. That's worked fine. So obviously you want to cure that underneath your lamp. Also, it's like 30 seconds for a Madame Glam top coat. Well, for most top coats, but yeah, with Madame Glam, it's 30 seconds. So you might be able to see the colour difference here. Obviously, the, all the other nails I managed to get done with the one coat, I didn't have to go over it again. It's a slightly darker shade if you do have to put the two coats on. But that is such a gorgeous colour. So the next one up is Life on Mars. So I've gone ahead and applied the base coat and the, the top coat as well and cured it. I'm just going to apply it onto the nail. Like so. I'm going to keep going over it, trying to get it as sort of like smooth as possible before I place it into the lamp. So that is how that one looks. So I've gone ahead and cured that and top coated it. 
so this kind of has a bit of a rose gold look and you can see oh, it is a little bit kinky in parts i don't really know why that happened i've done the exact same process as i did with the trip to florida like the first one seemed to cure really well but the others it seemed a bit like like i said there was like ridges in it i don't understand wh why that happened my lamp is a fairly new lamp as well so it's not that like my lamp is dodgy or anything like that or due to be uh, saved i will be doing a real reveal video on my new lamp as well uh, sort of in the next upcoming weeks so with this one here that is my fault with that little like splodge i sort of tried to test whether it was um dry and obviously it wasn't so that's a fairly smooth application i don't know why it went a little bit weird <laughs> on the middle finger but there you go that's how it looks and moving on finally this is play date so this is like a bit more of a copper feel to this so you can see i'm just showing you uh, implying it exactly the same as i have done with all of the other polishes and again not 100 percent great like finished look like i do think it's a gorgeous color but the ridges in it it was driving me mad i've got to be honest jelly babes i don't really know why that was happening so you may or may not be aware these can you can air dry these as well so you can apply it as you would like a normal polish allow it to air dry and this is the kind of end look so most of them applied well and then obviously i thought you're going to want to know whether you can apply a top coat over this and how that affects the um this sort of like end look so i did apply like a normal gel top coat over the top of this and it just it lost that metallic effect and i don't really know why so i was a little bit disappointed with that because i do find like the air air dry look was the best metallic look so yeah so i've kind of got mixed feelings about this collection because the like, the air dry look was probably the best metallic look but i mean obviously if you're going to air dry it then why would you buy a gel polish version of it kind of thing um and obviously with if you do air dry it on you can remove it with a normal polish which i suppose is good because it's less um faffing around with like a gel removal process um but yeah but yeah i, d I just didn't like the fact that it seemed to mess up when it was drying um and i don't really know what the, what's that about or how to kind of combat it so so yes i mean when it did dry properly it is a gorgeous look i love the colors i love the end result of it but the fact that it wasn't consistent um even though i applied it um how i applied all of the other layers kind of thing the fact that the end result wasn't consistent is a little bit annoying um i don't know maybe you need to play around with it more but with my reviews i kind of review it i know this has been sent to me for review but i review it as if i had purchased my money and i've got to be honest i wouldn't be that impressed jelly babes i would expect it to like i say be more a consistent finish with it um especially if you're applying the steps that it states in their instructions um so yeah so i hope that this review has been helpful um if you've got any other questions then please you know leave them in the comments box below and i'll try and answer them the best that i can so that is it for today jelly babes and i'll see you in the next one